still no exact opening day for Portland's Sunderland Safe Park site. The city providing a tour in Northeast Portland today. So it's based on Vancouver's site that opened nearly three years ago. And there is a new report released today showing more people in Clark County are becoming homeless despite more services and resources. Let's bring in our Brandon Thompson live tonight, digging deeper into how these issues are affecting the region's homeless crisis. Brandon. Well, here in Multnomah County, it took the county, Portland, and the Salvation Army coordinating for this site, and it still took 15 months from the announcement until today for this to get stood up. So finding an operator, that was the big part of the delay here at the Sutherland RV Park site, and the Salvation Army agreed to do it. They say part of the delay was finding staffing for service providers and even maintenance people to make sure the vehicles that park here are safe for the people living in it and their neighbors as well. Typically, it takes six to nine months for a person to move from the Safe Rest Village program to permanent housing. The Salvation Army says for here, this RV site, it may take longer. We're really interested in long-term success. And when you've got somebody that's been houseless or has been a vehicle resident for 10 or 15 years, which is often the case, it takes a long time to help them um, reach a point where they can actually live on their own. Now to Clark County, the Council for the Homelessness or the Council for the Homeless released a report today that found the homeless population increased in the county from more than 6,000 people in 2021 to more than 9,000 in 2022. That's despite more services coming online like a community court or rental assistance and more outreach workers. One reason in the report, the average rent in Clark County is now more than $1,900 while wages have not kept up. Increasing the number of affordable housing units takes time and it takes resources. We are getting there slowly but surely, but we need to increase the increase to meet the demand. I think this report is asking everyone to kind of step it up a little bit to serve people before they become homeless who are at risk of homelessness. Mayor McInerney Ogle is pointing to rest, rent assistance for that prevention. Both she and Fenny Jones think increased collaboration among community organizations and service providers is key. Part of that is what led to the community court that launched in April. So coming up at six, we're asking what's next, both for the lessons learned in Vancouver to become action and here at the Sutherland Park RV site, 55 RVs can fit here. If you drive around Portland, clearly that's not enough to help the people who are living in their cars and RVs. So we're asking what's next coming up tonight at six. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin Six News. Yeah, and what's